I'm Alex Johnson. I'm with Characters Talent Agency, and I'm Jude Harrison. music so much? Well, okay, well this reporter asked me one time, who are your musical idols? And I said, Kurt Cobain and Patti Smith. And the guy's eyes just lit up. You actually know who Patti Smith is? Uh, yeah. So I guess you never met a 15-year-old girl with a brain before. But it, it's true. I mean, I, I do know an insane amount about music. But it's because of my dad. I mean, well, he's he's an accountant, but his life is music, okay? Music, music, music. And the way he goes on, it just drives my mom nuts. But, I mean, they, they don't really get along. They they fight a lot. I mean, well, not, not a lot, but enough. You know, enough. And I guess that's why I, I write music. I mean, just so I can just get lost in the song, you know? I do it all the time in school. I'll bring my guitar and I'll just write about what I see. But, I mean, now, now my song's getting played on the radio. And that is just whacked. I mean, I'm, I'm at school and I hear Dana, I mean, this, the most popular girl in my school, singing my song in the girl's bathroom. Okay? And she probably doesn't have the slightest idea what the song's about. But she liked it. And I guess that's what music's all about, right? Connecting with people. Even people you normally hate. So this reporter asked me one time, who are you musical heroes? And I said, Kurt Cobain and Patti Smith. And the guy's eyes just lit up. He's like, you really know who Patti Smith is? And I was like, yeah, I do. So I guess you've never met a 15-year-old girl with a brain before. But it's true. It's true. I do know an insane amount about music. But it's because of my dad. I mean, he's an accountant, but his life is music, okay? Music, music, music. And it drives my mom nuts the way he goes on. But, I mean, they, they don't even get along. I mean, they fight. Not, not, not a lot, but enough. And I guess, I guess that's why I write songs. I can just kind of, you know, run away into my head, get lost in a song. I, I do it at school all the time. You know, I'll just grab my guitar, I'll chill in the hallway, and I'll just write about what I see. But now, I mean, my song, my, my songs are on the radio, okay? They're getting played on the radio, and this is just whacked. I mean, Dana, the most popular girl at my school, is like humming my song in the girls' bathroom. And she probably doesn't have the slightest clue what the song's about. But she likes it. And I guess that's what music's about, right? Connecting with people. Even people you'd normally hate. SoundScan says it's a small-sized player in need of a super-sized star. Mm, yeah, that just sounds like me. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, I always knew that this would happen. Oh, what, that I'd win some cheesy TV talent search? No, but I knew you'd be discovered somehow. Look, I just knew. Okay, you said it before. Sometimes I'm so psychic. No, I, I said sometimes you're psychotic. <laughs> okay, I'm serious. I was there when you wrote your first song, and it was great. I was 12. It was about my cat. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, say, that one sucked, but what you're rating right now, genius. Yeah, you know, I thought I was going to be voted out, like, first round. I haven't even, I've never sang in public before, okay? And now I have a record contract? I mean, this is insane. Jude, you're going to make great music. You know, like the music that you and I always talk about that we love, you know, like what Kurt did, yeah. Joe Strummer, Patti Smith. Yeah, well, you're my biggest fan. You've always been. Mm-hmm. That's why you're my best friend. Don't let them change you, okay? Promise? No. I'm not changing for them. I'm not changing for anyone. That's your tenth variation on the same B chord progression. You said that the lead-up to the bridge sucked. I just, I want to make it right. You want to get it right or do you want to get it right now? That's cute. Sweet and sour chicken balls. Healthy. Yeah, I 
That's the only food I like to eat, Mom. Like, Mom, we're wasting time. Cool, that's why I brought you out here. You know, you can't rush songwriting, girl. You do everything in such a hurry. Just my music. I'm on a timeline, you know? I mean, Kurt Cobain wrote Nevermind when he was 23. I'm 15. That leaves me just eight years to write my masterpiece. Leaves me just a year. Okay, whatever. Come on, I'm trying to work. You should be trying to play. The chords you need are in the guitar. They're hiding. They want to come out, but you keep scaring them back in, and you, you just got to coax them out. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, two minutes. How do you feel? I feel like I'm gonna bazooka bar of sweet and sour chicken balls. <laughs> yeah. You know, before I met you, I thought, I thought you were gonna suck. Huge. But I was wrong. Never been more wrong. Jude! You're 15! Oh my, oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. I'm such an idiot. Oh god. Oh god. Are, are you crying? No, I'm not. I'm not. Only an idiot would cry over little Tommy C from Boys Attack. God, how did I get a crush on you? You're everything I hate about music. A phony, stupid, commercial idiot. Hey, 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 easy. You made me change my song. Don't give me that crap. Everything would change you love. You know, your song's a hundred times better since we worked on it, and you know it.